Welcome to Jewelry Designer Manager Tips. This tip we're going to talk about adding categories in Jewelry Design Manager and also why categories matter. So let's start with the latter. When you have a lot of products, both finished goods and component parts, one way to analyze your performance in sales and inventory management and cost management is to break down your inventory into categories and analyze each category. This kind of categorization is done in every type of business analysis and in every type of industry and it's very important for jewelry. So Jewelry Designer Manager gives you the ability to manage your inventory in categories and there are actually different category tables for jewelry parts and for jewelry pieces. And what I mean by that is jewelry parts have their own kind of categories. Jewelry parts are gemstones and chain and findings and um, pearls. And you, there's a lot of different ways to categorize your jewelry inventory. Whereas jewelry pieces, which are your finished goods inventory, are categorized by necklace and ring and bracelet and the different kinds of jewelry that you make. So we're going to take a quick look at how to add a new category both to your jewelry parts and to your jewelry pieces. So here we are in jewelry parts and we got here by going from the main screen either into the jewelry parts tab at the top or this jewelry parts box in the middle. And when we're adding a new part as you can see the very first thing you select is category. And let's just click this little arrow, the drop down, and we can see that right now in the software we have set up bead, chain, findings, and pearls. But let's say what we're adding is a colored gemstone. What you'll do is you'll go to this little pencil icon and click it, and right here you can add colored gemstone. And that's all you have to do. And it's added once you get out of that bucket. You could also delete a category up here, but you're not going to want to do that after you've added products to that category. In some cases, using the description of the items in the category is going to be very useful. For instance, some of your beads may also be colored gemstones, right? So you may want to indicate in bead that this is any gem material that is drilled for stringing. And down here you might want to say any gem material that is faceted or cabochon and intended for setting. Now you may know that already, you may not need that instruction for yourself, but what happens when you want to bring in someone to help you? In that case, you would want those descriptions to help that person make good choices when they're working in the software without having to look over their shoulder all the time. Some people also get a little caught up in the chain category. For instance, when does chain belong in your parts inventory and when does chain belong in your finished inventory? And the answer is pretty straightforward. If this is chain, if it's chain that is unfinished, spooled, or by the foot, etc. Uh, then that's the kind of chain that goes in your parts inventory. In your jewelry pieces inventory would be finished chains with clasps and you're ready to put with an actual um, item. So that is where you add netted items in your category list and now everything is there, we just close it. And it works exactly the same way in jewelry pieces. When you go to jewelry pieces, let's add a new piece. And as you can see, in the same way, category is the first thing we choose. So if we hit the drop down, you'll see that we have bracelets, earrings, and necklaces set up as categories. But let's say we need to add a ring. So we just go here and add a ring. And that's all you have to do. That added the new item for you. You'll notice there are not descriptions in these piece categories, and it's primarily because pieces are much more self-explanatory than components, where um, in the components inventory or the jewelry parts inventory, you can have a lot of variance in terms of how one designer wants to categorize their parts inventory versus another. 
For instance, the chain example I just gave you. Someone may say, I never, ever, ever sell chain by itself, even if it's finished chain. So I'm always going to put my finished chain in my jewelry parts inventory because the only way that that chain is going out the door is if I attach it to a pendant that I made. And then you've got a perfectly good excuse to go into jewelry parts, go into your category list, and here where I said chain that is unfinished or spooled, you would say all chain, even finished. Again, that prevents somebody that's helping you later from having to ask a question. If it's chain, it goes here. So those are some thoughts about using categories and how to add new categories in Jewelry Designer Manager. I hope this tip was helpful to you.